Facebook ads is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do personally. I've always been more of like a salesperson. Marketing's not always been my forte until recently where I actually finally got a couple campaigns to work. Up until now, I've actually been hiring people to do the marketing for me. So yeah, I just wanted to take it into my own hands and finally do it. So a uh, really quick guys, in, in case you guys don't know who I am, my name is Daniel Beltran. I am the founder of Digital Seed Marketing. We actually help real estate professionals create client acquisition systems. So in this video, that's what I wanna show you, just how to run Facebook campaigns. So first thing before we start, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a Facebook business account. You're going to need a ClickFunnels account, a high level account, uh, some kind of website where you can actually, you know, put a landing page for your leads to go to, and you're gonna need to set up a pixel. So I'm actually not gonna be going over those things in this video. I just wanna straight up show you how to run the campaign because all this other stuff you can pretty much Google, but everyone is very quiet about their Facebook ad campaigns. And that's why I wanna show you. Again, this is coming from somebody who's failed about nine different times. Seriously, like in the past, I've tried to run these campaigns and for whatever reason, like something happens, you know, whether I'm, you know, wasting money, like I'm just, putting a bunch of money into the ads, they're not really going anywhere. The people that I'm targeting aren't good. Uh, Facebook bans me for some reason or the other. So I just wanna shave a bunch of years off the learning curve for you and just straight up just show you what's working for me and my clients right now. Uh, so if you're still watching this video, please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell because it's free and it really helps me. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so now that we're here, again, I just wanna streamline everything. You guys are very busy. Uh, so I just wanna show you straight up what we do. So once you're finally inside the Facebook account, we gotta get a pixel. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just open the events manager. So once you click events manager, it's gonna look just like this. Um, on the left side, there's a big green button that says connect data sources. So this is the pixel that we're gonna be adding onto your landing page that you already have. So yeah, once you click that, let's click on web. So we can put it on a website, click connect. And now we're gonna choose meta pixel for this one, click connect. And then add, it's just giving you like instructions on how to set it up and what it's for. So we're gonna use this pixel for retargeting and basically just building up a certain type of demographic of person that you're targeting. That way your ads can be cheaper in the future. So let's name our pixel uh, MLO test and we'll just put in um, our dummy website just for the example. There we go. Perfect. And then once we're in, we're going to manually add the pixel code to the website. And again, I'm not going to show that, but I'm going to show the process of setting up the pixel. So let's copy the code that we're going to put on the website. Copy code. Okay. We just paste it to the website. Poof. It's done. And then I always turn this on because this is going to help you like in the future. It just is getting more, you know, information from the people that you're targeting. Uh, click continue. And then again, this is where we're going to add everything to your website. So if you have click funnels, high level WordPress, whatever you're using for the site, um, just follow the event setup tool. It's very easy. Trust me. It is. Uh, once you're done with that, we're going to verify the domain. This part, they have a video for it. Again, just follow the directions, how to set up the domain or verify the domain that you already have for your website. Uh, once that's done, then it just gives you the option to test the pixel, right? To go on the site and make sure that it's all firing properly. So just go through their tutorials. I promise you they're not that hard. They're very simple to do. So once you have your pixel set up, now we're going to go back into ads manager. So click on ads manager, and then it's going to take you to your ads manager. So the first thing you want to do is click create under my face right here. Uh, you'll see it's in the top left because we're going to create a new campaign. So once we click create, it's going to give us some options on what we're trying to do. And the objective for us is to actually get conversions, people to fill out a form and schedule an appointment, more importantly. So let's click conversion, conversions, continue. Once it pops up, it's gonna give you just the overall view, the targeting, and then the creative of your campaign. So at this point, of course, please name your campaign. I always like to do the state and the type of lead. So we could do, I don't know, Florida VA purchase, right? So name your campaign. Um, in the special ad category. Now, this is key because if you don't do it, Facebook will kill you. So again, we're going to choose the housing for this because we don't want to get banned and uh, zucked by Mark Zuckerberg. So please choose the special ad category to make sure that we're not, um, you know, failing to be compliant, that we are, you know, a loan officer. And as you can see right here, even in the categories, it says ads for real estate listings, homeowners insurance, mortgage loans, that's us and other related opportunities. So housing, put that down. Uh, countries, I assume if you're watching this, you're in the United States, but you would just change the country that you're in. I don't do anything else here. So at this point, we're gonna click next. It's gonna take us to the targeting. 
So conversion event location, choose the website and choose the pixel that you set up. So for us, this is the pixel that we set up. Conversion event, because we're targeting four conversions. So Facebook's gonna be like, okay, what type of event do you wanna set up? So that way I know what you're looking for. So we are looking for leads. And again, if you did this correctly with the setup that Facebook gave you, you'll have all of these active events. So if you need to go back to their tutorial and they'll show you how to set up the events. We did that when we were setting up the pixel, by the way. So yeah, choose the pixel, choose the event for us. That's gonna be lead. And then choose the daily budget. I recommend starting with $20 a day. You can do even $5 a day. It really doesn't matter because um, your Facebook campaign is gonna be learning for a day or two. You're still gonna get a conversion here on there, um, but I'll, I'll get into that here in a sec. So again, daily budget, I recommend 10 to $20 at least per day, especially if you're just starting out. Um, and then the audience. So now this is key. Since we're doing a housing special ad category, we cannot target anybody. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut to an actual campaign that we're doing just to make it very easy, right? So for the detailed targeting, this is what we're doing, right? So we're not discriminating by age or gender, but we are including first time buyer, realtor.com, Trulia, Zillow, and then an additional interest they must also match. So people who have been to these sites must also match an interest in mortgage loans and pre-qualification. Now this is what we're setting up. This is how we do all of the targeting. Um, other than that, as far as like placements, you can see, I don't really have much. I have the in article set up. I have the search one set up, um, a couple in the feeds. Now we do this for a reason because the creatives that we're setting up only fit best in the places here. So feel free to check these out really quick. Stop the video, you know, take a screenshot, whatever you have to do. These are all the places that we do for the feeds. These are all the places that we do for the search and in article. Those are the only ones that we do. I, I don't really like to do the um, automatic placements, although Facebook's AI is pretty smart. So you could test that too, if you wanted to put like, I don't know, five bucks a day on it. Uh, feel free. That's what we do though. Um, other than that, we don't touch the targeting. So most of the work is done on the creative, which we'll get into now. So this is one example of the ad creative that we have for one of our clients. So let's look at the actual ad here. So new program saves Massachusetts homeowners from paying out of pocket, depending on their credit score, homeowners are taking advantage of this new program and are getting homes with assistance. Don't miss out. Tap learn more to take our 45 second quiz to see if you qualify for free money from our new programs. And then all the creative is, it's literally just red borders and then pictures of an, of the inside of a really nice home. And that's it. It's really simple. And then I don't know if, I don't know, if maybe I skipped over this. Just to make sure in the targeting, again, if you're targeting one state, I recommend that uh, just because the creative, you can kind of be like playful with that. So for this one, I just have Massachusetts and then all the targeting that we talked about, plus that creative. I'm gonna show you one more example of somebody that's doing VA. And then here's an example of somebody who's actually doing the VA. So let me show you the targeting for that and the creative, and then I'll show you even the results that they're getting. So check this out. This is one of our other clients. Um, let me just see what we're targeting for the VA purchase. Here we go. So same exact stuff, right? Uh, there's no like secret. I'm not like hiding anything. I'm not holding back. This is literally what we're doing. And then look at the creative. We switch it up per state. So Again, we're, since we're targeting veterans, a lot of the work has to be done on the front end. So check this out. Attention Florida veterans, right now is a great time to buy a home with no money down. Don't miss out. Click learn more to take our 45 second quiz to see if you qualify for free money from new programs. And you can see, look at that creative. Red border gets attention, red bottom border. Purchase a new home in Florida. By the way, that typo is on purpose because it gets attention. It may sound dumb. The creative may look really ugly to you but I'm just sharing stuff that has worked for me, guys. So you can see right there, uh, we put like a little American flag, attention Florida veterans. We have to do that, of course, to filter out all the, the people. And then again, at the bottom, take the quiz, a little arrow, and then learn more. That's it, pretty easy, right? Easier than you expected. Again, these, you know, these ugly ads, these, these wordings that I'm using, the typos, like all this small stuff, you don't have to do the typos, but I'm just saying, uh, for some reason it works. You know, people just kind of feel like that's more personable, whether they see like, you know, for example, if they see like a super professional ad, sometimes they're not as likely to click on it. Whereas it's, if it's more like personable, like this one, then sometimes they are more likely. So again, feel free to, to call me out. You know, if you want to test your own creatives, let me know, comment down right now, what's working and what's not for you. And that way, you know, we can all learn together. So at this point, you guys are probably confused. You're like, wait, I'm so confused. So what you're, you're targeting all these people and you're taking them to a quiz. What are you talking about? 
Perfect question. So let's get into the landing page portion of the ad now. So when they click on that link, where does it take them? So this is an example page of, you know, where it takes them once they click on the ad. Obviously this one's for veterans, if you couldn't tell. So, you know, you can read the questions right now. Yes, we are a veteran household. Uh, what branch of the military were you in? Do you currently own or rent? So we basically have these like surveys set up, right? It's not a form, it's a survey. And we do this with multiple choice questions because it's easier for them to answer. So let me just show you what we're doing. So of course, at the bottom for compliance on your landing pages, please put your name, your NMLS number and the address of your, um, of your office because that's for compliance, right? And then also put the NMLS number of your office at the bottom. Okay, so once they do that, once they finally fill out the survey, these are all the questions that we're asking them. So do you currently rent or own? What is your current monthly payment? Like if they're you know renting a home, how much do they currently pay? What loan amount that they're trying to secure? Their credit score? Their time frame as far as making a decision? Their income? Do they have 10 discharge? Again, this is for VA purchase. And if they're working with a realtor or not. And this is key because if you guys get them pre-approved, this is an easy way to network with some realtors and be like, hey, Mr. Realtor, I just got this lead pre-approved. I'm just trying to build some connections and boom. Now this guy's gonna give you leads forever because you got him some. So that's another really cool thing. That's the reason why we ask for the realtor. That way our clients can kind of build up, you know, referral partners. And that way they can have deals, you know, years out from using the service. So yeah, these are the questions that we ask. And by the way, this is actually Le Carlton. So he's one of our, our clients that we're working with right now. Um, he's been doing pretty good. So far, he's about two weeks in. He already has one under contract and he took three applications. So Le Carlton is killing it. We love him. Um, here's actually a screenshot of what he said. So yeah, look, you can see it right there. We were actually just kind of checking in with him just to see like how he's doing on his campaign. And, and look what he said. We have one under contract and we took three applications in freaking two weeks. But is that because we're running Facebook leads? Because I know a lot of you watching this video right now, especially if you're a loan officer or a real estate agent, you're thinking, wait, I've, I've done Facebook leads. I've paid somebody Facebook leads and they sucked. Yeah, to be honest, um, that's common. Um, but the reason why it's working so well for us is because not only are we doing the lead generation, not only are we getting high intent by asking all these crazy questions, um, but we're also putting it in a lead nurture system. And that's what we're going to get into right now. So this is another one of our clients. This is Ben Sabansky. Um, you can see like the opportunities that he had, his conversion rate. All of our clients have a high level CRM just like this one to track all of their opportunities. And that's so key because again, look, we're tracking the conversion rate. That way he knows he's making his money back. So usually, uh, you know, when somebody fills out a form, we have it zap into the CRM. Um, and then from there, we just set up all of our automations to message them, to schedule appointments. Um, so let's actually see an example. Let's go to one of the closed deals here. And then I'll just pull up a conversation so you guys can see like what the automations are. You can get an, an idea of like how we're texting them, scheduling them to be automated appointments. All right, I was having issues with that other one, but I found this one. So here's a good example of like what the automations look like. So once they come in and they finally, you know, inquire with all the questions, we immediately put them into a campaign to start messaging them. So they get a text right away. So you can see this one. Hey, Daryl, thanks for reaching out regarding our program. I thought following up through text might be easier. Do you have some time to talk today or tomorrow? And you can see he responded a minute later. He says, hey, I have time today. And so once that happens, our clients are notified. Hey, we just got a new lead. And then if they respond to one of our messages, hey, we just got a new response. So you can see um, our client Ben actually responded is, not, is right now a good time. He says, I'm a little busy at the moment. Tomorrow will be a good time. He says, okay, what time works best? He says, 2 p.m. And then he says, that works for me. I'll call you then. And then he says, okay. So my point is with all the automations, it's so much easier to keep track of the leads because again, as humans, like we're flawed, we're not always you know, going to be there for the lead, but at least our robots can. And we can make it sound very personable because one problem that we used to have with our automations is that it sounded too professional. You know what I'm saying? Because these people like something that's a little bit more personable. You know, they don't want to be feeling like a robot just message them. So, you know, all of our templates that we have have been tried in the past and that's why we know that they work. So um, basically, if they don't respond to that first text like this guy did, they have a night, we actually have a 90 day follow up sequence. So it's gonna be messaging them for the next 90 days to make sure that they're not interested or if they are and they just needed some more time to make a decision, that is very common. With this system though, we're getting about a 40% appointment rate. So if some, you know, one of our clients, let's just say they purchase I don't know, 50 leads, then they'll probably get somewhere between 
20 and 25 appointment that actually show up. So that's really good. Um, so not only that, obviously you can set up those, emo you know, you can set up all the automations. You can set up the campaign. That's really cool. Um, for our clients, we actually do soft credit pulls with the leads to make sure that they're really qualified and not just saying that they're qualified. And we actually have an inside sales agent. So if you're going to run, you know, lead gen, you don't have to do that all at, you know, at, once you first start, but definitely consider those things because it's going to make your life so much easier. You can even automate a lot of that stuff. Uh, we actually use a software called iSoft Pull, where all we need is their address and their first name or their full name and their address to actually pull their soft pull. So it's very good. And these are just things that you can include. Um, if you guys have questions on that, please comment down um, or message me on Instagram at Dan the MKT man if you guys want help with fulfillment. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of everything. Um, if you guys haven't seen already, I do have a pretty small community. So if you have any questions on anything that I just showed you, please comment down below and chances are I 100% will respond to you. All right guys, and that's pretty much the end of the video. If you're still watching and you haven't liked the video, please do it because it seriously helps me and I gave this away for free. We charge thousands of dollars to do this service and I just gave it away. So again, if you're just starting out and you wanna you know, run some Facebook ads, this is the way that we do it for our clients um, and you've already seen the results. So yeah, with that being said guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, I wanted to just provide a lot of value today and a huge video. Normally I don't do videos this long, but, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. And again, just because I'm winning, I now want to share what I've done to make those campaigns work. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys when I see you guys.